you guys are clicking on this video because you're just curious or you follow Ubisoft's game development or you really love the Ghost Recon franchise, then you would have known that Ghost Recon Frontline was recently announced, developed by Ubisoft Bucharest. And I waited a couple of days before making this video because your guys' reaction was certainly something and uh, you've got a lot to say about it. And I don't blame you, but at the same time the title of this video was not lying. I have already played Ghost Recon Frontline by being invited to a couple of playtests to aid with their development and give feedback on what I thought of the game at a tactical point of view. They got in touch with me based on my experience with Escape from Tarkov, one of the most hardcore shooters out there. And when it was first picked to me it really seems like they wanted to keep tactical and fun at a balance. And whilst I'm allowed to share certain things with you, I'm still under NDA for quite a lot of things that I've seen, therefore I can't discuss specific gameplay elements with you. I can tell you that this video is not sponsored by Ubisoft and therefore I can give my own personal view on what I think of this game based on what I'm allowed to share. And I'm not being swayed either way to give a positive or negative outlook on the game. In fact, I'm going to try and keep this video as unbiased as possible. So what is Ghost Recon Frontline? Well, it is a free to play game that is a basically battle royale. They word it as a tactical action massive PvP FPS. It's a battle royale and that's a brave move in 2021. Have to admit, didn't expect it when it was first pitched to me, but they've done it in a unique way. It's a class based battle royale, meaning team play is of the utmost priority. I'll go on to specific classes in a second based on what I have already played, but they'll all have different gadgets and abilities that will come into their own at different points throughout the match. There are a couple of classes already in the builds that I have played, Assault, Scout and Support, and they are looking to add more as development goes on and as the game gets released. The Assault class is very much a close range, proper basic like brute force class. It allows you to get really up close and personal, you can throw grenades to track your enemies and you'll see that throughout the trailer. It is a good class, I use this quite a bit through playing in the playtests, just because you get into so much action throughout this match, the trailer's not really lying, it is really fast paced. So you got to keep an eye on your enemies, especially if your team's going around to flank. Your support class basically allows you to build fortifications and turrets, and you'll see that in the trailer as well. A lot of the time you can set up turrets in defensive positions when you're trying to hack a drone and gather intel. And of course you've got the scout class, which I'm a sniper at heart, so this one really appeals to me because you're able to reveal enemies for your squad and you're able to take them out for a distance without worrying about getting shot at back. Now players can also switch between different contractors in game which is quite cool so you're able to pick out different classes no matter what say you want to go assault and then you're like ah shit this is boring I'm gonna go and build a turret now you can just like that nice and simple. In the game currently you've got two modes, the main battle royale style mode is called Expedition and that is the 100 player warfare that the trailer focuses on. But not only that, you've also got another domination style match, so typical to your CODs and to your battlefields, it's a 9v9 capture the objective mode where you're allowed to respawn, which is great for those people that want fast paced action. And there are a handful of maps currently in the control mode that all take different sections from the larger expedition map, shrink them down and close them off into more of a domination mode where you need to capture the objective. And this is sort of the mode that I would consider a practice mode. You can learn a weapon spray pattern, you can learn recoil, and you're able to combine that knowledge and fit it into the actual expedition mode and then you come out a bit more on top, you know, knowledge is power. And in terms of tactical, like I said at the very start, Ubisoft got in touch with me because of the tactical aspect. Do I think it's tactical? In a way, yes. In terms of the way that you've got to communicate with your team, 100%, very tactical. Do I think that it still has to fit into a battle royale theme and it's a little bit fast paced? and it's a little bit more sort of leaning towards Warzone and a little bit more of an arcade shooter. Yes, I also do. 
there's no sliding around, jumping around corners. There's actually a slower movement and a slower feel and a slight bit of inertia already added. But at the same time, it's got to fit into that timed battle royale experience and even more so with the control mode. You've got a limited amount of time and it's team based. So you're gonna find that you're spawning and running around where there's players quite close to you at all times and the action is quite fast paced. A bit faster than I would have liked as a tactical sort of FPS fanboy. And to be fair, if you don't consider it a Ghost Recon game and you take it out of that mindset and you consider it a little bit on the side, that doesn't bother me. It's a really, really interesting game. Hit registration is good for a game in this stage of its development. And if you want to see how the game performs yourself, then there is a closed beta test that is coming really soon. You can preload it from October 12th and you can play it from October 14th to October 21st if you want to. And then later on, there will be open tests and more tests and more reveals and more information that I'll be able to share with you. But from what I can say, it's a really good shooter that fits in the battle royale genre. It is a okay Ghost Recon game. And that will change, most probably, by the time the game's fully released. Who knows? But what you got to remember, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, it is a free-to-play game. If you download it, you've not wasted money, you've just wasted a little bit of time. And you'll have a few hours of fun, I can guarantee it. Whether it is just a few hours or you become addicted, that's up to you and how you feel when you play the game. And of course, with games that are free to play nowadays, that means they need to find a way to make their money. And commonly, it is a battle pass that does that. Now, during the closed test, Frontline will have a battle pass which will be completely free. But when the game is fully released, they will have a free track as well as a paid track. And this is by no means going to force you to put money into this game even though it's free to play. Everything is purely cosmetic. So don't worry about that, it's weapon camos and vehicle skins and all that sort of stuff. You're not going to get speed increases and stupid shit like that. You, you get cosmetic items and that's it. And you know, that's common in free to play games. You can't really expect anything else because otherwise how else are they going to make their money, right? And if I was to throw a message out to those people that are commenting on Ubisoft's announcement trailer or all of those people that have announced it like PlayStation and Xbox and they've all released the trailers and all of you guys have disliked and said, ah, rip, Ghost Recon, rip, 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 rip. I understand frustration because it's not what people are expecting for the next quote unquote installment. But just wait, just wait and see what will come of the game. The closed beta tests are on PC for a certain amount of time. If you get into those, great. If you don't, wait until you see proper gameplay that is allowed to be shared freely and wait till you see independent reviewers just review the game or play it for yourself when it releases. Like I said, it's a free to play game. The best way I can describe games like this when they're first announced and they're not what people expect is you don't know if you like a certain food until you actually try it yourself. So don't go on first impressions. Don't go based on what it looks like. Get a taste and get a feel for the game of yourself. You might find it fits into a little niche where you didn't think you needed it, but now you do. That happens with quite a lot of people in a various different situations. But anyway, enough of me rambling. That's what I have to share with you about this game. That's what I'm allowed to share with you. But if there is anything else that comes in the future that I'm allowed to share, I will do for you guys. So you can have a bit more knowledge on this newly announced title. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments however constructive or hateful they might be. And if they are questions that I'm allowed to answer, I will speak to my Ubisoft representative and if I'm allowed to talk about it, I will comment back and I will tell you. But if I'm not, then I'm sorry. And also, the comment section of my videos are free game. Comment what you want, as long as you're not hateful to each other, I couldn't care. I'm just here to inform you lot and that's what I'm doing. So, if you enjoyed the video, like's always appreciated. 
If you didn't enjoy the video, not so much the game, then hit a dislike and we'll go from there. Subscribe for future content if you want to see Escape from Tarkov, that's what I do a lot here but I am branching out, hence the reason I'm talking about this today. And other than that, have a lovely evening. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.